Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Well, <laughs> this is starting to sound like a broken record, and I thought this broken record was going to be thrown away. The news this morning was that Jordan put off the morning vote and he was going to back the initiative uh, for expanding Patrick McHenry's powers. Then, later on, he decided, no, he's not going to go that path and he's going to go with votes on Friday and potentially through the weekend. So I want to know what happened that caused Jordan to change his mind. Did McHenry say, no, don't do that? Did he get some, did, did he and his followers bullying calls convince some people to change their mind? Entertainment purposes only, let's find out. Why did Jim Jordan change his mind from backing McHenry to um, going with votes? He still thinks he has a fighting chance, or he's been convinced he has a fighting chance. Um, <clears throat> it's a naivety. <laughs> Somebody convinced him. Somebody talked to him and convinced him not to give up, not to be a quitter, that he still has a fighting chance. <coughs> <clears throat> Somebody involved in election interference, maybe. Or grifting. No. Um, <clears throat> I think a message... Uh, I can't always use this for grifting and election interference. Um, <clears throat> he still thinks he has something to offer. Or... Some people were offering him some hope, a little bit of hope. And they appealed to his fighting nature, saying, you can do this. The people will support you. That that kind of thing. In the past, Queen of Cups. Um, again, a very emotional person. Uh, I think I've used King of Cups for him. Um, he's been trying to keep his passions and emotions in check to look you know quote unquote presidential as he runs for the uh the house speakership and yeah you know this is also revealing the having the votes to reveal who his opposition were current situation why is he why did he change his mind he's just he wants to work he wants to continue doing this keep hammering this out that he might be able to hammer out a deal I think somebody convinced him that he can do this he just needs to keep fighting have some you know keep fighting you'll make some agreements on things maybe he's he maybe he started to make some agreements with some people and he's seeing momentum going in the other direction and there he is again. But, you know, Jim Jordan, yeah, he wants to see himself in charge of all this. He wants to graduate from a queen to a king. So that kind of tells me that the the calls to people's wives and the, the, the death threats and things like that, they're probably paying some dividends to some of these house members who you know, their safety and their family's safety is worth more than, um, you know, oh, I don't know, keeping Jordan out of a position of power. But he's delusional. Um, he, th I think he thinks this is working. It's not working. You know, it might work on a couple of people, but the, here's the thing is that it just solidifies the, um, the resistance from others, and there will be repercussions for it. Just like the, there will be repercussions to Matt Gates, there's going to reper be repercussions to McCarthy, McCarthy, to Jim Jordan for this. He's not thinking straight. And, you know, his crazed followers, well, maybe that's what that also is, the, um, the outcome of crazed followers. The crazed followers are going to, um, they're going to amp up their attacks. If Basically, if, if they see some headway because of the uh, of the phone calls and the harassment and stuff like that, they'll keep going with that because they're bullies. And to them, that's a winning strategy. But it's only a winning strategy to certain people. 
there's going to be a group of men and women, I think it's mostly men that oppose them, that will oppose them. And they will not change their mind. And the more you attack them, the more they're going to dig in. Because F you. Okay. I, my predictions were by tonight, <laughs> he'd have been done. You know, give, give themselves a three-day weekend. I guess I'm a little too cynical. Well, we'll find out tomorrow <laughs> if, if they give themselves a weekend or not. Okay. By Monday, will Jim Jordan have made any progress towards being Speaker of the House? By Monday. What have we got? Well, he's gonna, yeah, he's going to make some progress. By Monday, he will have made progress or come to a deal, uh, uh, an arrangement. Um, yeah, I think he's going to make, by strong arm tactics, he's going to make some progress. But that's all the progress he's going to make. He's going to be, he will have tapped out by Monday. Like, if he's narrowed it down to 10, 10 people resisting him, that's it. That's all he's going to get. He's, he's played his last card. Yeah, so he's going to drive forward his uh, deal, dealing, wheeling and dealing over the weekend. By Monday, you know, all the energy is there. They're going to have the votes. Or they, they'll have had the votes over the weekend and have the votes. Um, but I think he, he just, it, it doesn't get there. there. There are people that just won't be pushed around. You know, these are the peasants revolting in the street. And then you've got the king with his wand. And he's not going to play with these people. And it's going to cause McCarthy again to reevaluate what's going on with the uh, with the situation. Star card. Oh my. Um. <clears throat> Not sure what the star card is. It's well, the star is the calm after the storm. So I think this weekend is going to be really, really crazy, as far as meetings and threats and all sorts of stuff like that. And then come Monday, they're going to have the votes and there'll be a calm after a storm. You know, if he were elected, that would be a calm after a storm. I don't see that happening, though. I think he's just going to be short and he might take a pause for if they take votes on the weekend and on Monday, there might be a pause as he either recontemplates his position or tries to allow for more time to gather votes. Now, it made <laughs> I should say it didn't make sense to me. When there was reporting out there saying that McCarthy was going to back McHenry and uh, you know use that time while McHenry's in there for the rest of the year to uh, gather up support, I was thinking that that's not a winning strategy. And here's what, oh, for, for other people, it might be a winning strategy. For, for Jordan, it wouldn't be. And it's because Jordan's an extremist. Um, the only reason why... He's even getting a sniff at this speakership is because we have a budget due in 30 days or less. And there's a you know, there's funding for the Ukraine war and funding that people want to give to the Israelis uh, for their conflict uh, with Hamas and Hezbollah. So there's pressure because of the urgency behind that. Now if you have Patrick Henry in there, Patrick McHenry in there, excuse me, and you extend him to the end of the year, he'll get the budget through. He'll get the funding through for Israel, and there'll be the debates about getting the funding through for Ukraine. But those funding bills will be done. And then we're at the new year, and the only legislation that really needs to happen is the debt ceiling in January of 2025. So there's no urgent legislation that needs to be done. So there's no urgency to put, put Jordan in. Yeah, the house is, a, is an absolute clown show, but there's no business that the house needs to do uh, monetarily to keep the government running that requires Jordan to be there. So to me, his biggest strength right now is that stuff needs to be done, which is why I think He's pushing this weekend and pushing uh, into next week to get those votes going on. Um, I haven't thrown on McHenry yet. What's um, what's McHenry's 
position with Jim Jordan. I'm kind of curious if McHenry is pushing Jordan to um, to try and get elected or if he – what's – I just want to know. What's McHenry's uh, position? Knight of Pentacles. Um, you know, I think he's, he's, he's satisfied doing what he's doing for now. I think he's got the budget thing on the mind because people have been talking about it. And if he was asked to do it, he would do it because you got the coin there. But right now he's just sort of keeping pace with what's going on. Yeah, he's he's keeping pace and he's keeping a low profile. Probably could he could very well have talked with Jordan about keeping Jordan going because you know he's only supposed to be here temporarily. He's just keeping the the, the seat warm, as it were, and somebody else should be doing the heavy lifting. <clears throat> But at the same time, <laughs> I think he thinks the gavel feels really good in his hand. You know what I mean? He, If asked to do it, he would do it. If asked to save for the end of the year and get this stuff done, he would do that. Okay. In the past, yeah, he's the one He's the one that was talking with Jordan about keep up, keeping up the fight and encouraging him to keep up the fight. Don't give up yet. He's the one who did that because that card came up with Jordan. Current situation is Page of Swords. Um, <laughs> mind you, McHenry is a is a McCarthy uh, a McCarthy fan, a McCarthy friend, ally. <laughs> Page of Swords, spy in the camp. You know, telling Jordan to do one thing and then just kind of watching the mayhem unfold from uh, from his vantage point. I think. I th this sounds really bad and maybe really petty, but I think they really are enjoying watching Jim Jordan flail and fail and humiliate himself with votes. So maybe have him do it a few more times because he knows if he's if he's tasked with it, he can get the job done. <clears throat> Consolidation of power, holding on to things that are valuable. Yeah, I think I think he's setting Jordan up to be to embarrass himself. And once the MAGA folks have embarrassed themselves, it helps consolidate the power in with the uh with the geo with the, the traditional conservatives. And there's the strength card, the same one that came up with Jim Jordan previously. Uh yeah, there's some expertise there. You know, I think this guy even though he looks like or or Orville Redenbacher, he probably has some political chops to him. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's a false friend. <laughs> he's a false friend. Um, yeah, I think McHenry knows they still have some time and they really want, I think they want to bury Jim Jordan. I really think that's what they're going for with this. And again, watching Jim Jordan in his uh, followers threat. Now, I, I was watching, listening to a clip uh, of one of the voicemails left from one of the uh, House members' wives, and you know they're basically saying we're going to be Antifa. We're going to follow you and harass you wherever you go, completely nonviolently, of course. You know because he said nonviolent. It was a he, of course, said not violently in the voicemail. Then there's you know reasonable doubt right there. But then you know goes on to say we're going to molest you like you've never been molested before. Completely nonviolently, of course. You dipsh. I hope that was a traceable call. Probably wasn't. Hope it was. Just dirt bags, man. Dirt bags. Okay, what do I want to throw on? Um, what's Jordan? What's McHenry's thought about? Um, What's McHenry's thought about being the uh, having his powers expanded for the budget? What's his What's his thoughts on that? The devil <laughs> chaining himself to that. Let's see. I'm just gonna do a four carter. Winning at all costs. Mastery. Wheel of Fortune. Um. Well, um, let me 
think about this. I, I want to think about what this card really means here. This is to, to me him. He knows he can do the job. Um, I think I think what happens is McHenry thinks that if he takes the um, if they expand the powers of the temporary speaker, then you're setting a precedent that the Democrats could do that. He might be concerned about the longevity of his career as well, or how people, yeah, he's concerned about the longevity of his career because if he does this and he, he would have to do this voluntarily, you know, he's going to have to get the budget done. And we all know that the MAGA folks want to shut down the government. And are they now going to accuse him of being a rhino? And now he's on the outside looking in on his own party for basically doing what he needed to do to keep the country running. Would he do it? He might. He might. He might. Um, he might just do that. I think that's one of the reasons why, if I'm correct, that he's encouraging McCarthy. Uh, McCarthy is he is encouraging Jordan. Is that he doesn't want to be put in the position where he's vilified by the Freedom Caucus and the MAGAs and such things like that. But at the same time, I think he's thoroughly enjoying the humiliation that Jim Jordan is going through. All right. I'm going to leave it right there because if uh, I'll read more on on uh, I'll read more on McHenry uh, if Jim Jordan hangs it up and we'll see what goes on from there. Um, thank you again for watching my videos and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for um, all your likes and shares and comments and everything you do to feed the YouTube algorithm so my video makes it out to new viewers. And to those new viewers, welcome to my channel. I hope you found this uh, reading insightful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.